Hi everyone, my name is Lori. I am with Macomb St. Clair Michigan Works. Welcome to our first ever social media virtual workshop. Today we are focusing on Facebook and LinkedIn and how to use those social media platforms to help you find your next job. So if you have a laptop or a tablet and you want to go ahead and get that out, we are going to go step by step today to show you exactly how to use that to maximize your job search. Okay, so welcome back. And what we are talking about today again is how to effectively use our social media applications. Um, specifically today, we are going to be focusing on Facebook and LinkedIn um, to help aid in your job search. So I know most of you have probably been using job boards, things like Indeed, Career Builder, Monster, um, spending countless hours along with the rest of the general population trying to find that perfect job for you, uh, updating your cover letter, updating your resume, faxing it to whom it may concern, hoping that someone calls you. Um, that up until now has pretty much been the way that most people will uh, conduct their job search. So what we're talking about today is using, um, again, Facebook and LinkedIn, and I'm gonna go ahead and start with Facebook. Um, obviously the link is um, www facebook.com and if you need some assistance setting these up um, at the end I will give you our Michigan Works website um, which does contain links on how to set up a Facebook account so today what I'm going to go over again is just how to use this account so that you can um, network and maximize your job search and just maybe give you some ideas to help you think outside of the box here so what we're looking at right now is this is my home page. So this is um, the page that I use, um, has information on it. As far as you can see right here, um, I do belong to quite a few groups. So one of the ways that you can use Facebook um, is to join groups. There are so many different groups that are available on uh, the Facebook community right now. If you come over to here, you can see, um, again, and I am on my home page right now. So if you come over to the side, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the word groups. So these are all of the groups that I currently belong to. Um, and then what Facebook can do is it can give you some additional suggestions of, as far as groups that you may want to join based on your preferences. Um, it will make suggestions for you. It'll give you job categories, uh, things that are near you to kind of keep in the know. Um, here you can see some of the groups that I belong to, and most of them are job clubs, employment opportunities, um, our local Michigan Works offices, our Veterans Boot Camp. So these are all groups that I belong to, and anytime any of these groups post any type of information, that's something that's going to appear on my home screen. So that's very useful because a lot of these are, again, going to be posting job leads. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at that real quick. So here is a job opening right here for Employment Opportunities for Michigan. These people are looking for an experienced painter, you can see here. Um, what they have done is they have provided you a telephone number that you can call if it's something that you're interested in. Um, and then you also have the ability to make a comment, um, to message them. This is, again, their phone number. Here is the person that posted that job opening. Um, if you hover over there, you can kind of, you know, get, a, get an idea of who the job poster is. And I think we can draw a conclusion that this may be somebody that is um, the hiring manager. Um, one of the most intimidating things I think about going to a job interview is the fear of the unknown. So we initially have no idea who we're going to be meeting with. We don't know who we're going to be talking to. So the fear of someone judging us or being judged, someone we don't know, um, is definitely very scary. So this is something, again, that you can kind of put a name with a face. Um, you know, you can look at their profile if you wanted to do that, um, just to get a kind of an idea of their personality, things that they like, um, and kind of use it as far as to your advantage um, when you do get that job interview. So again, this is um, some of the sites here. Some of the groups that I belong to that I feel are really beneficial, um, this is one right here. Um, and this is called Macomb County, Michigan Help Wanted Sightings. You can see right here that Macomb County, Michigan Help Wanted Sightings has 21,175 members. 
So that means there are 21,175 job seekers that are helping you, um, you know, to find your next job on this website, which is very cool. Um, so you can use it one of two ways. You can either create a job. So if you are someone that is looking um, to hire, you can post that information here. Or if you are somebody that is searching for a job, um, you can also use that to your advantage. So you can type something in here, such as um, admin assistant, 10 years experience, looking for full-time employment, um, and you can post that out to the job community. So on the Macomb County, Michigan Help Wanted Sightings page, you will definitely um, see you know, a lot of different job openings. You will see people that are, again, looking for jobs, people that are posting um, for jobs as well. Um, there are similar Help Wanted sightings or similar groups um, for St. Clair County, for um, all of our friends up in St. Clair County. Um, I'm just gonna go do a Google a search here. So I quickly found St. Clair County jobs. I'm gonna click on St. Clair County jobs here. And you can see that they also have quite a few groups. So this group here has uh, 4.6 thousand members in it. So much like our Macomb County, our St. Clair County also has a web, uh, Facebook page that goes through all of that as well. So here again, you can walk, go through and find um, certain job openings. So that is definitely something that I would encourage everybody to do um, is to get onto Facebook and start looking at groups that you can join. Um, one of the, another way is to just, again, type in something. So there are groups pretty much for anything um, on Facebook. So I, I'm just going to type in Administrative Assistant Michigan. You can type in whatever type of job you're looking for here. Um, but let's just start with Administrative Assistant Michigan. So I'm going to go through. And you can see here that there are a lot of different pages for people that are executive and office assistants. Um, this would be a great way to network with people that are in your field. Um, so if I click right here, um, what I can do is again, I can join the group. So it's very simple. I just click on join. Um, sometimes they do um, take a few minutes. They do have to report to their administrator. So they're not automatically going to allow you to get into the group, um, but it will happen. So down here, you can just kind of see information about um, this is something people are just posting. People are looking for certification programs. People may be looking for work. Um, but again, it's a good place for you to come and post something. You know, I'm an admin assistant looking for work um, in the Metro Detroit area. Does anybody know of anything? And again, we're just networking. So we know that people find jobs through networking through people that we know. So the object of this is to just join as many groups as you can, try to connect with as many um, people as you can. Um, you can come over here. When I go back to my home page, there's also a section where you're going to see jobs. So again, I'm on my home page and I'm coming down to the very bottom and this section here says jobs. So this is where I can specifically look for jobs. I bet you didn't know this existed, did you? Um, but this is where you can specifically look for jobs. You can do um, them near your location. You can do job type. You can go to category. So it's kind of all broken up into um, different categories of what types of jobs you're looking for. So I'm gonna do Testerfield, Michigan. I'm gonna say 25 miles is what I'm looking for. Um, I'm not going to check any of these things because I'm definitely going to leave myself open. Um, I know that jobs sometimes that may start out part-time could turn into full-time opportunities. So I definitely don't want to exclude myself from anything um, that that's a possibility that would really be a great fit for me. So here we have categories. Um, you know, you can either select a category or if you're somebody that's kind of open, you're thinking, you know what, I'm, I'm looking at maybe changing careers. I just kind of want to see, get an idea of anything that is available to me. You don't have to check anything. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to search jobs 25 miles from Chesterfield, Michigan. Um, right here, you can also be very specific in typing what you're looking for as well. So I'm going to um, hit confirm. And then right here, it's going to give me any jobs that Facebook has listed. 25 miles from Chesterfield, Michigan. You can see there are quite a few. 
and again, if it's something that I'm looking at this thinking, wow, that's a lot of jobs. I don't want to have to scroll through all of these things. You can just kind of come back and, and make that job search um, designed for you. So admin and office, that's really what I'm looking for. Um, and then right here, it kind of pulls up that, that for you here. Okay. So back to the homepage again, we've talked about groups. So again, it's very important while you're networking to join groups. Um, it's also important that you follow pages of places that you're interested in applying to. So let's say here that I'm interested, I'm gonna just click through here, the Michigan Humane Society, um, you know, they're posting information, maybe they are hiring, maybe this is something that I'm going to be applying to and I have gotten an interview with, I definitely want to make sure that I go to the Michigan Humane Society page and I want to follow them and I want to like their page. Um, this is going to give me a lot of really great information for a job interview. Um, it's going to let me know things that have been happening at the Humane Society. So when I go in for that job interview and they're asking me, you know, what do you know about the Humane Society? What have you um, I can come right here and I can see that, oh, you just had a kitten shower that's scheduled for May 30th. Or you can really kind of get some inside information, which will let that employer know that you're definitely interested in that company and you have put in the time to follow them on social media um, and to do your research. So again, over here, you can search through the Michigan Humane Society posts, events, photos, videos, really just kind of get a really good idea of what that company does. And again, this is good for any company. So we definitely recommend if you have any job interview coming up, um, go to Facebook, type in the name of that company and follow them, um, get the information. That way, when you do have your job interview, you are prepared and you can show them that you are savvy and you follow them on social media. So I'm going to come back to the homepage. Um, I'd like to talk about this is my personal page. So this is my personal Facebook page. It's very important that you remember to include a professional picture um, and cover photo. So a lot of people are always asking, what does an employer see when they look at my Facebook page? You can bet that an employer is definitely going to come to your Facebook page and check you out. Um, it's just something that we do. Um, they, an employer will definitely Google your name so if you have not Googled your name um, before, it's something that you are going to want to do. And I'll just show you. So it's just a simple google.com. I'm going to type in my name. And then I'll put Michigan. And I want to see what employers are going to see um, when they pull up my name. So I'm going to scroll through here and I'm going to look and just, you know, it's just, again, very important that you know, because anyone, anytime you have a job interview, anytime you submit an application, um, an employer is definitely going to come to Google and Google your name. So you're going to want to Google your name. You want to look at images. Um, so here are some of the images. Um, this one, I recognize that person. Um, but then you want to just double check and make sure that there are no images um, on here that could be, you know, a red flag for an employer. I'm coming back to my Facebook page. Um, one of the ways that you can see what an employer is looking at when they look at your Facebook page is by clicking on these three dots right here. Um, most of the time, this usually works on a desktop, but you can try it on your phone. Facebook is always kind of making new edits, so it might be something that they have now changed. Um, but if you click on these three dots right here and you come to the view as setting, what this is, it's now showing you what your profile looks like public. So this would be if you were not friends with me on Facebook or you were an employer, this is what somebody would see. So you can come scroll through here and just make sure that everything is good. Everything looks professional. There's not anything on here that you um, would not want an employer to see. But we strongly, strongly encourage you to log into your Facebook page, come over here again to this view as setting, and just make sure that everything is in line and everything looks um, professional. I'm going to go ahead and get out of that. 
let's say in the event that you do come on to you do get your Facebook page and there is something on there that um, you would rather not share. Um, so let's just say for this right here, this is a photo. Um, this one, um, you can see that anything that is has a world in front of it means it's public. So that means that anyone on Facebook would be able to see this photo. What you want to do is you just want to make sure that all of your photos are set to friends. So what that means is only people that are friends or in your network would be able to see your photos. And again, you'll just find this where you come, you're going to log into a picture. I just clicked on one of my pictures. Me again. I clicked over here. This is set for only my friends to be able to see this. I drop down. Again, these are the settings. So I would encourage you to just go through. Again, if you see something when you're under view as that might not be um, anything you would want to share with the public or an employer, this is how you're going to make that private so that you're only your friends can see. Okay. Um, another thing that you can do is um, we call it branding, brand yourself. So if you are someone that is maybe targeting a position at, let's say, Ford Motor Company, um, you could take your cover photo right here and maybe put in like a Ford Mustang or the Ford logo or something that would show that you are part of the Ford team. So when an employer comes to check out your Facebook page, um, that's one of the first things they saw. Um, I know that we have a, a coworker that had worked with somebody that was targeting Target. Um, this person wanted to go, was going to a job interview for Target. And what they did is they took a picture of themselves in a red polo and khaki pants. Um, they had their cover photo right here. It was a picture of them pushing a cart at Target. They had Starbucks in their hands. It was super cute. The daughter took a picture. Um, and when they went in for the job interview at Target, um, that was something that that employer picked up on and said, yeah, I went to your Facebook page. I saw that, um, you know, I saw that you were, you had put that up on the cover photo. That was really cute. Um, definitely noticed it and got the job. So again, those are just some of the different things that you can do with your Facebook page. Okay. So again, Facebook, great networking tool. Um, one of the things too, if you are up for it, um, one of the things that we would recommend is to get onto your personal Facebook page and just kind of put yourself out there. Um, you know, a lot of times we are our own worst kept secret. We do not want to tell anybody that we are looking for work for whatever reasons. Um, but if you think about it, we use Facebook as a way to get referrals. We use Facebook as a way to um, make connections. So if you've used Facebook to maybe find some a doctor or a new restaurant, um, you know that we re, re uh, we look at referrals. That's what people want. So it's the exact same when you are job searching. Um, you know, one of the first things that companies typically will do is go internally and ask their employees, does anybody know anybody who would be good for this job? Um, again, we trust referrals. So networking is the best way right now to find employment. So why wouldn't we use our networking tool on Facebook um, to market ourselves? So it doesn't have to be anything you know, real crazy, but I could say something like, um, hi everyone. I was curious. Anyone knew of any app openings? The, we'll just say human service field. If so, Please let me know. Thank you so much. Okay. And then we will go ahead and post this. Easy. So now what I've done is I've put something out there. Hi, everyone. I was curious if anyone knew of any job openings in the human service field. If so, please let me know. Thank you so much. So this is now going to be shared with my network 
on Facebook. So hopefully somebody will see this and be able to get back to me and say, you know what, Laura, yes, um, you know, my employer is hiring. Do you have a resume? You can send it to me. Um, and now what I've done is I have bypassed the whole career builder monster indeed. Um, and I've found someone that works for the company that I want to work for that can make that direct connection for me. So really that is just the most important thing right now is just networking. Um, and again, we have these amazing social media tools. And I think a lot of people maybe think of Facebook as something that, you know, I try to stay away from it. I don't want to hear about someone that went to eat at Arby's or my aunt's cat is sick or, um, you know, people aren't interested um, in those things right now. So I think people tend to stay away from Facebook, but hopefully you have seen um, all of the really wonderful ways that you can use Facebook to help out with your job search. Um, and hopefully this is something that you'll consider doing. And again, just to recap, definitely um, join some groups. All the groups are right here. Um, definitely um, here, search for jobs. So you can come over here again on the Facebook page and search directly for jobs that are in your area. Um, one other thing that I wanted to show you too, um, before we switch gears and go over to LinkedIn was right here. This is a save feature. So this right here, when you're scrolling along and you're looking at Facebook, let's say that this is something that you are interested in. Um, this one, I need a laborer to come help hang insulation and K-Pack hey, at the end of the day. So this is something that maybe I definitely um, want to maybe send to someone or this is something I'm interested in. What I can do is I can click these three little dots right here at the top of any post and I can click save. Um, and what this is going to do is it's going to save it for me um, on my Facebook page so that I can come back to that. Um, you'll see right here. Now, again, I'm still on my homepage. Um, you see under saved, I can click on that and here it is right here. So this is now where that post has, has wound up. So a lot of times I see people on Facebook saying, I'm sharing this to come back to it later. Um, you don't necessarily need to do that. Um, again, there is that option of saving any post on Facebook to come back. Um, and again, you can find that if you need, when you need to pull that back up. Um, it's under the Explore tab right here. And this is the Saved section. Okay. So the next uh, social media outlet we are going to talk about is going to be LinkedIn. This is um, my LinkedIn profile, but I'd like to start out with my LinkedIn homepage. So this is the homepage. When you log into LinkedIn, um, again, right here, it's linkedin.com. When you log into LinkedIn, this is going to, this is what it looks like. So this is very similar to your Facebook page, but this is going to be something um, like a, a news feed is similar. So this is full of um, groups that I follow, people that I um, people that I follow. So these are things that people are um, posting on LinkedIn that I can read much again, much like Facebook. Um, LinkedIn is a professional networking site, though, where Facebook is a personal networking site. So LinkedIn is the place where you're going to come to connect with businesses, connect with people maybe that you used to work with. And I'll show you how to go about that um, in just a minute. Um, so right here again, this is my homepage. So this is where um, information is shared. I like to come to here and just kind of read sometimes what's going on. Um, a lot of people are posting services, people are posting jobs, people are posting articles um, about job coaching, about job interviewing, a lot of really good information, Zoom meetings, we've been there, right? Um, so this is information on that. Um, so again, this is the, my network, um, the group that I belong to, this is what I'm looking at here. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my profile. So you can see um, when we were on Facebook and we were also on LinkedIn, my profile picture is the same. Um, this is important to make sure that we have a professional profile picture. If I haven't mentioned this already, um, it's worth another mention if I have. Um, but again, making sure that your profile picture is a professional one, shoulders up, um, making sure that it does, is similar maybe across the board. So when an employer pulls you up on social media, you definitely want to make sure that that's the, the profile they're looking at is definitely yours. So 
if you have a profile picture that has cats in it or children in it, um, you don't want to give that employer any reason to think that this is not your profile picture. So it's very important that you do a professional picture, shoulders up of your um, face. And again, we're, we love kids, we love pets, um, but kids and pets are not uh, do not belong on a profile picture while you're job searching um, on Facebook or LinkedIn. So my personal page right here, um, and again, I know that we also have a video. Um, Chris Betts has designed a video on how to show you how to set up a LinkedIn account. So if you don't have a LinkedIn account and you would like to see step-by-step -step on how to get this LinkedIn account set up, um, go over to the, the page um, on our website and you can find link. Um, Chris Betts is going through LinkedIn.com how to um, set up that account for you. So I'm just going to go through some of the features right now that are going to be important for you um, while you're job searching. One of the things I do want to show you right here is if you do need to change anything on your LinkedIn profile, um, this is where you're going to be able to do any updates. Um, something that is also important that I want to show you is this right here. Um, it's going to default to um, only LinkedIn members directly connected to you. Um, your network, you can kind of choose who your audience is. So if you are doing a job search, it's probably the best idea to just have all LinkedIn members um, able to view your profile. All right. And then you can come down here and, and it just shows your information, your industry that you're in, your contact info. Um, this is where everything is right here. But definitely just make sure, check your settings and see um, what you're set to as far as the LinkedIn Members. So I'm just going to go ahead and hit save on that one. Um, right here where you can say interested in, again, this is going to give you um, letting LinkedIn, the LinkedIn community know what type of work you're open to. So here you can add specific job titles. Um, here you can have locations where you're interested in working. Um, and here is an option that you, it defaults to as well, you would have only recruiters. So what you're saying is if you're checking this, that only people that are using LinkedIn's recruiter product have um, are able to see your LinkedIn profile. If you are wanting all LinkedIn members, so that means people at your current company, if you're working, um, recruiters, or anybody who signed into LinkedIn, um, you would definitely want to check that box. So just make sure that your account, I mean, if you're looking to only have recruiters, um, that's great. And you can make sure that that box is checked. Um, but just make sure that you, you do look into that. Um, and then we can add that, we can add that to our profile. Okay. So coming down here again, this is just the about section. This is your summary. Um, dashboard, here's where you can see how many have viewed your profile. And we also get a lot of questions about, do I need to sign up for the LinkedIn premium? No, you don't. Um, you know, you can pretty much use the LinkedIn features without having a LinkedIn premium account. Um, here is activity. So these are things maybe that I've shared. These are things that maybe I commented on, things I might want to come back to. So that's all here in this box. Um, this is where our experience is. So again, if you go back to our how-to LinkedIn, it's going to show you how to get all of this set up. Um, but right here, you just have it, um, information on what you do for a living, kind of your job description. One thing that is nice is that when there is a LinkedIn page, it will populate here on the left-hand side for you to click onto. This is important because one of the things that makes LinkedIn so great is that we are able to connect with people um, that we maybe used to work with. We connect with companies. Again, um, the idea is, is to definitely get a network set up to help with your job search. So right here is Macomb St. Clair, Michigan Works. What this is going to tell me is it's going to give me um, information on all the employees that are on LinkedIn. So if I click here, it's going to show me all employees, 97 employees that work at Michigan Works are on LinkedIn. This might be useful, let's say that I used to work at Michigan Works or um, I'm interested in working at Michigan Works. And this would be a section where I could come and connect maybe with previous coworkers, um, 
let's say that I worked at Michigan Works and Michigan Works is no longer in business. So the people maybe that I worked with have now gone to different agencies. They've gone somewhere else. Um, what I want to do is reach out to them and find out where are they working now? Um, can they give me a, a, you know, a lead? Would they maybe be able to help me to um, get back to work? So this is something right here that you can, that is a good, good tool for you. Okay, so again, this is where you would come. You can type in any business that you used to work for, any business that you are interested in working for, and it's going to provide you information on the employees that are on LinkedIn. Okay, this right here that I wanted to mention, um, this is called your headline. Um, what this is, is this is going to um, the career planner. This is what I typed in right here. Um, again, your headline. At no time should this headline say anything like, unemployed, looking for work. Um, the headline is how LinkedIn is going to identify you to either um, employers, recruiters, or other people that are searching for work on LinkedIn. So a way that I you can use this is I have career planner listed as my headline. If I wanna search for other career planners, what I can do is I can type in career planner I'm gonna to go to see all results. So first of all, this is going to give me jobs that are related to career planners. Then it's going to give me people for career planners. So what this is showing me is that anybody that has reported themselves as a career planner, it's going to list right here. So you can see there are 193,000 career planners on LinkedIn. This is important if I am looking for work and I want to network. So I can send any of these career planners a message. Um, some of them, again, you can narrow the search down by like location. So um, right now I just have it open, but you can definitely click on location. Where here you can type in um, Macomb County or zip code, whatever you want that to look like. Um, and then you can go directly to this listing and find people that maybe are in your area. Um, it's completely appropriate, too, um, to click on someone's profile. Again, this is what LinkedIn is about. It's about professional networking. So it's it's not weird um, to, to click on someone. This is what it's designed for. It's designed to network with other people um, to help find employment. So what you can do is, um, let's say that this is somebody that I'm interested in connecting with. This person is an employee at the Oakland County Ferndale, Michigan Works. Um, since I used to be an employee for Macomb County, Michigan Works, I still am, but we're for purposes of this demonstration. Um, maybe this is something that I could um, connect with him and say, you know, I, I have previous experience. I was wondering if you were hiring. Would you be open to letting me send you a copy of my resume? Um, I can also see here that I have 31 mutual connections um, with him. So what I can do is I can click on to see who do I know that knows James. Um, and one of the very first people is someone that I work directly with here at Michigan Works, Michelle. Um, so what I can do is I can reach out to Michelle maybe and say, hi, you know, I saw that you know James from the Ferndale Michigan Works office. Um, I was thinking about applying for a job there. Would that be something you might be able to do it, make an introduction for me? Could you reach out to James? How do you know them? Um, nine times out of ten, it's going to be a positive. So, um, you know, Aunt Michelle may say, absolutely, you know, James is my next door neighbor, or um, I used to work with him way back in the day. I'd love to um, get a copy of your resume and help you out. So um, those are some of the ways that we, we do connections while we're, while we're using LinkedIn. Okay. So just to kind of recap on this, what um, some of the things that you can do is you can go directly to companies that you used to work for. Um, and look up people that have identified that they worked there, find out maybe if they have moved on um, and where they're at now to see if the place that they're working is hiring. Um, you can search specifically right here for the job that you do. Um, so again, I typed in career planner and I went and I hit enter. I went to see all results for career planners. Um, and then I went to the people to see the people that were in there. Um, I could also go to jobs. Um, you know, that might be something that I can look at as well. So it's going to maybe give me team leaders, um, 
different things like that that I might be interested in will show me right over here. And a lot of the time on LinkedIn, it is going to give you that option um, to apply directly using your LinkedIn account. So it is important that you do have a, your LinkedIn account is updated, it is complete. So if you're going to be using that option, you definitely want to make sure that your LinkedIn account, um, you know, is, is ready to go. Don't don't have your you know information missing. Um, you want to treat that as it's something that is like a resume. So um, LinkedIn is like a virtual resume for you. Um, over here, I will go ahead and show you the jobs section. So here is where you are going to be able to search for jobs. Um, right here, based on my profile, so based on the information that you type in to your um, profile, it's going to give you um, some suggestions on things that you may be interested in applying to. Um, so if you look right here, it does have some, you know, um, program supervisor, some HR things, um, customer service, human resources, things like that. Um, I can also come to um, search jobs. So if it's something that I, I'm looking for particularly, or maybe like a job location. So if I'm looking for jobs in Clinton Township, Michigan, I can click that. And again, what this is going to do, like much like the Facebook that we saw um, a minute ago, um, it's going to just pull up jobs that are going to be within uh, in Clinton Township within a certain mile radius. So right here, I can see there are 39,109 jobs. Um, again, if I want to be more specific, I can do, um, this is 25 miles, I can make, make that down to 10. Um, I can do dates posted. So if I'm only interested in looking at jobs that maybe were listed in the past 24 hours, I would be able to click on that. Um, I wanted to come over to LinkedIn, so this is easy apply. So these would be jobs that LinkedIn has made an, a, a direct link to so that you can just upload or apply through LinkedIn um, companies. So these are companies that are near um, Clinton Township or things that are hiring right now. If I want to add a company on here, if there's something that I'm directly looking for, I, I can do that as well. Um, and then experience level, um, you know, most of the time, someone's entry level could be somebody else's associate level or, uh, you know, so I'm not sure that that would be the best way to do a job search, but again, it is something that, that would be an option for you. So coming here, let's just click on something. I'm gonna click on this AFLAC benefits consultant. So right here, this is going to give me information on what this job is. So here I can see the skills and qualifications. Here I see how I match with the skills that I have. It's going to be right here. Um, here is the salary, the base salary. So um, LinkedIn is just kind of giving you an estimate for benefits consultants in Sterling Heights, um, what that salary might look like. Okay, here you're going to have, this is an opportunity um, again, much like Facebook, where we wanted to follow the groups or follow the businesses, we're going to definitely want to do that on LinkedIn as well. So here's an option where I can follow them. So now on my homepage, anything that Affleck posts, posts um, it's going to show up for me. So I will be able to um, follow along. Again, when I have my job interview, I can say I saw on LinkedIn or I follow you on LinkedIn. This was something that um, I found interesting. Um, up here, it's going to give me an option. So I, it's going to show me connections that I have to that. Um, it tells me that 48 people that I I'm a, went to Western Michigan, go Broncos. Um, so it's telling me that 48 of the alumni from Western Michigan work there. Um, so what I did is I clicked on that. So here are some of the people um, that work at, so this is a benefits advisor at AFLAC. Um, and, her, and her name is Emma. When I look down below here, it tells me that I have some shared connections with her. Um, so these are people that I know that know Emma. So maybe you found this job, let's say you were searching on Monster or Indeed, um, and you found this job yes, um, for Affleck and you wanted to apply for it, um, and you did it old school where you wrote up your resume, you did your cover letter, faxed it to whom it may concern, hope that someone sees your resume. Um, what I'm going to do or a, a way to think outside the box is I'm going to go directly to the person um, that has, that's Affleck. So I, what I did again is I went directly to the connections that I knew. Um, this is the person right here 
that has um, posted the job. Um, so I can send her an in-mail. I don't know that I would recommend right off the bat doing that, but um, you can definitely um, look at her profile and see. So this is the person that posted the job. Um, you can message her. Um, if I go to more, um, connect with them. This is information that she's posted. Um, this is These are her job titles. So again, we're just kind of getting a feel for the job poster. Um, so when you do, or if you do have a job interview, you kind of have a name, name with a face. So she's got um, 500 connections. On that, and so again, what I what I was doing as I was going over to Affleck, I was looking to see how many people I knew worked at the company. Um, I'm going to reach out to someone at Affleck or a, a contact that I have. So right here, it tells me that Cynthia, Robert, and I have one other shared connection. Um, so what I can do is I can send them a message and say, you know, hey, I was interested in applying for a job at Athletic. I see that you are friends with somebody that works there who is a benefits advisor. Um, would it be okay if I sent you a copy of my resume to pass along to them? Um, so the object of the game is here is just to kind of get to the person that's going to be the one that's going to make the hiring decisions or somebody that's already within the company that can make that referral for you. Um, so while a lot of people are using link or are using again Indeed or Career Builder um, to try to find jobs, think about how many other people um, in the state or you know around in their in the area are doing the same thing. Um, these employers are definitely looking for um, referrals. So they're looking for somebody that is going to be easily trainable. They're looking, um, you know, they want to know that whoever they bring on board is going to be, be a good fit. Um, most of the time that's going to be done through somebody that's already working there or somebody that could give you that positive referral, okay? So hopefully you are able to learn um, some new tips or tricks or um, about job searching using Facebook and LinkedIn. Um, it is, they're both amazing resources for your job search. I highly encourage you um, to just kind of get on your Facebook page and play around with it, join some groups, um, you know, look at some posts, get involved with these Macomb County job search or St. Clair County job search sites for sure. Um, again, remembering that you can, here's the groups here. Um, there, there's just so many things that Facebook has to offer as far as helping out with networking and, and your job search. Um, the same with LinkedIn. Get in here, start joining groups, um, start looking up, typing in names of people that you used to work with, people that you know, people that are in a field that you're interested in. Um, send them messages, let them know that you're, you're looking for work right now. Um, and I think that you're going to find that this is just an amazing way um, to reconnect and to connect, um, and it's going to open up a lot of doors for you. So thank you so much for joining us today, um, and I hope that everybody has a wonderful day.